All right everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope that you're all well on this Sunday. Tonight's video is going to be the Forgotten Rugby League Club Series Part 2 and tonight's team is going to be Annandale. So I'm going to give you a history of the club, when they were founded and I'm just going to talk about some of the moments involved in the team. Um, Annandale is probably a club that most people haven't heard of or they might have briefly heard about them. I myself actually lived in Annandale. Funnily enough, um, I lived there for a year. If you did, if you don't know where Annandale is, it's located just outside the city centre of Sydney in the inner west. So you've got the city centre, you've got Glebe, Newtown, and then you've got Annandale there. Um, the club was founded on March the 14th, 1910, at the Colin Deal um, Hall, it was called. And... Annandale were a replacement club for the Newcastle Rebels team which elected to leave the Premiership in 1909. The club was mainly founded from the breakaway from the rugby union competition. So like a lot of the other clubs, some of their players were mainly rugby union players that had come over. And there was a trial match that they played the year before in 1909 against Eastern Suburbs. And it was mainly a mixture of the Annandale Rugby Union team and some of the other players that had left Rugby Union and they formed like a combined team and they defeated Eastern Suburbs and that kind of gave the idea to the New South Wales Rugby League board that there should be an Annandale team. So the club was founded on March the 14th 1910 and their first match um, in the competition was in 1910 and in the first couple of years, they sort of, they did all right. They, they finished just outside the finals places. Um, but for the rest of their time in the New South Wales Rugby League, they weren't very successful. The club played in predominantly, it was like a, a gold and amber striped shirt with a white collar. And it had a symbol of an E on the, on the, on the crest there. And they played, they, well their home ground it was actually a ground share with their arch rivals Glebe, which was the next suburb over. So they mainly played at Wentworth Park for their own for their home games. Um, as I said, they weren't very successful. Um, statistically, they're the second worst rugby league team in in the history of the game. Well, the Australian history of the game. They had a win percentage of eighteen point three percent in their 10 year that they were in the competition. So out of 153 matches, they only won 25 of those, drew six and lost 122 matches. And for two of those seasons, 1918 and 1920, they were winless. So in their final year of the competition, they were winless. 1918, they were winless and they also finished last in 1914. Um, another thing about Annandale is that they had a very unique um, story with the fact that there was four brothers that played for the club all at the same time, similar to the Burgess brothers of the of the present day. And these they, they were known as the Norman brothers. And they played a few matches, all four of them in the one team. And it wasn't until nearly a hundred years later that the Burgess brothers, Sam, Tom, Luke and George, all played... In, in a match together. Now, another thing about Annandale was they didn't have many players that stuck around for a very long, a uh, very long time. The one player that stuck around, stuck around the longest, and he actually holds the appearance record for Annandale is Walter Haddock. That was his name, Walter Haddock. I think his nickname was Fisho, and he played eighty three first grade games for the club, and after Annandale disbanded he ended up playing for Newtown and Glebe and he played in the 1922 grand final defeat against North Sydney for Glebe. Um, another thing about Annandale as well is that once they were disbanded unlike some of the other clubs that like uh, you have your Newtowns and clubs like that that continue to play in a lower league the club themselves they just disbanded and they never played another match after that. Um, a lot of that was due to the fact that back in those days there was a residential rule where you had to live in the suburb. Well, actually, for the club that you played for, you had to live in that suburb. So, Annandale had a lot of 
problems with actually having the the um, requirement for the number of players needed and they had a very small talent pool to choose from because they couldn't pick from all the other suburbs so they had a very tough time in the new south wales rugby league competition their biggest win to to actually see how how tough it was their biggest win was only by i think a margin of 17 points over western suburbs so when they did win, it wasn't there by very much. Their final ever match was in round 15, 1920. And that was against Eastern Suburbs in the year that they were winless. And they lost 15-0 to East at the Sydney Cricket Ground. But not the main Sydney Cricket Ground. Back in the old days, there was a second Sydney Cricket Ground, a much smaller one. And they lost that match. And that was their final match in the New South Wales Rugby League Premiership. Um, so that's me video on Annandale tonight, the Forgotten Rugby League club. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you are enjoying the content that I'm making, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm currently at 114 subscribers. By the end of June, I want to get to 200. So if you lot can help me out there, get to 200, that would be smashing. So if you're enjoying the videos that you're making, share them with your friends and family, get them involved. And hopefully you learn something tonight with this video. But anyways, I hope that you all have a wonderful week and I'll catch you all later. Tatty bye.